Hello, I am Edmund Mendelssohn, the author of White Musical Mythologies, Sonic Presence and Modernism, being published by Stanford University Press, and I'm here to talk briefly about the book. The book studies a series of modernist thinkers and composers from about 1890 to 1960, of each of whom lived and worked in either Paris or New York. Um, each of the modernist musicians studied in the book, um, from Eric Satie to Edgar Varez, and to Pierre Boulez and John Cage, each sought in his own way to intensify the presence of sound, either by creating the shock of the new, uh, by foregrounding the materiality of sound, perhaps banalizing sound, um, but always thinking of sound as something immersive, real, uh, powerful, constitutive of musical form, um, something with its own life and its own being. Um, crucially, each of these modernists in reconceiving sound and seeking to intensify the presence of sound, uh, reimagined and often appropriated forms of expression drawn from the non-West, either pre-modern European cultures or more frequently, uh, peoples and cultures, real or imagined, from the global South. Um, the book can be considered a critical history of the ontology of sound, narrating various ways that sound became ontological in the 20th century. One of the premises there being um, that our own ideas about sound in the humanities today are owed to the modernists who have made it for us. Uh, each of the chapters actually pairs a composer with a contemporaneous French philosopher um, to suggest that we can't really understand French theory in its novelty and complexity without music and sound. Um, the final chapter pairs Cage with Derrida to suggest that um, Cage's own ideas and many of our present day ideas about the presence of performance and sound are actually a deep reflection of, perhaps a derivation from, the metaphysics of phonetic alphabetic writing. On this point, I am indebted to cultural theorist Foucault B. Fan, who has uh, joined Derrida's writings with Michel Foucault on the ontological question of the modern phonetic language, or the privileged ontological status of the modern phonetic language. Um, this language, phonetic language, the only language that we Westerners use, it's easy to forget, first of all, phonetic writing is a medium of sonic inscription. The idea of the immersiveness of sound, of the sudden creative presence of sound, derives from, deeply, our phonocentrism, the metaphysics of phonetic writing. Thank you. Enjoy the book.